and Tremendo dude going off. It's gonna be Joker versus Schultz. PS2, no surprise here. Very common starter stage. Uh, don't be surprised if you see the stage a lot throughout the weekend. Mm -hmm. What I'm curious to see here is how Tremendo do his playstyle. Every Shulk lane has a different playstyle. We do have True 4, Unsilver Ninja, Kome, Nico all here. So that's what I'm really curious to see and really more excited to see is how Tremendo do differentiates himself against the Shulk lanes, but also the demonstration of his knowledge of the character and how Ooh. the character will do in this matchup here. But immediately, Lubu's going to go with a great start off here. 69% yeah. against Shulk, and Shulk's stuck in Shield Art. Yeah, Tremendo dude switching to the Shield Monado Art. It does uh, come out really fast, so he's able to escape certain combos right there. But he ate so much damage before he was able to do that. Mm -hmm. Lubu definitely showing prowess with Joker. Beautiful conversion off of the Nair, getting the down tilt, popping him up into the grapple and an up air to boot. Uh, I mean, he's got his name Yusuke, so I know, I know <laughs> this guy is a Persona fan. Like. But just playing it slow and steady here. Uh, definitely not overextending on either side right here. Oh. Running across the stage, getting that grab. Just gonna get a couple pummels in. Ah, uh, great opportunity, and what a great counterplay. You switch to Buster Art. You do do more percent damage, and it does remove the Rebel's Guard the gauge a little bit more faster that way. So it's great for him to understand, okay, this is my counterplay to sh to a Joker when yeah. he does have Rebel's Guard out. Sorry, you gotta be Joker. really careful now that Arsene is out, but he gets the, uh, the Air Slash in. Yeah. Uh, smash art, so he gets that KO. But he he he, he had to do that too because you yeah. can see Lubu was actually looking for these falling fair one setups in our scent. Certainly would have KO'd off of the uh, falling fair one. He could get a down smash. He can get an up smash, depending if he has a plot foreign setup or not. There's tons of things he can do. Yeah, I, I'm like I'm really enjoying to see how Tremendo has quickly turned things around. And honestly, the demonstration of knowledge, like hey, Buster Art's gonna be the one thing that helps me get rid of Arsene a lot faster. Let's switch right into that and take control of it. Great use of up to at the ledge because that does have that arc to scoop you up all the way up. It is really good opportunity for him to understand that. Buster Art in play one more time. Look at how fast that Rebel's Gauge goes away. Yeah. Pretty much almost an eraser to it. And a great counterplay coming up from Tremendo Dude. Nice. Great spacing here because he's able to get away from that dash attack. Yeah, barely putting up his shield. That dash attack would have put the KO'd him for sure. Really strong attack. And not only does uh, he have really strong hitboxes, but he has enlarged hitboxes when he has Arsene out. So yeah. Really hard to escape a lot of his uh, KO options. Yeah, Jump Art's definitely going to increase the range of air special ooh, reach. And ooh. what a great comeback with right. back air. Tremendo Dude's movement is absolutely unmatched right now. Just such good utilization mm -hmm. of each and every single one of oh, his Monado arms. I, uh, so I like the up tilt attempt in there. Great option. And then good opportunity to go for up yet up because he, he, most opponents will go for an out of shield option. And that's what we, Tremendo Dude wanted to call out. Yeah, and finally, Lubu does find that first stock, but not before Tremendo Dude does 112%. And he know, you know he's already looking for the very next KO. All right, he doesn't have a jump here. I do know make it back with air slash. I do know that a lot of Shulk mains do use utilize the tech known as dial storage, yes. and that's what I'm kind of seeing here from Tremendo dude. He's oh, able to utilize that as soon as possible, just switching Monado fly, uh, Monado's uh, Monado arts in the fly without having to pull out the wheel. Yeah, actually, the way I, I not 100 percent sure how it works, but it basically you you uh, shave off mm -hmm. the frames of your um, Monado activation. Mm -hmm by uh, an activating and canceling it prior with an attack. Exactly. Oh, I, I felt like he had the space there, but unfortunately did not kind of for the gun shooting down at him. Goes low, great opportunity because you can catch Joker on that recovery that way. Great use of aerials, setting up the neutral air or the back air to catch Joker on the slip up. And he moves his hurt box, so that's one thing that he's able to do there, kind of catching Lubu on the slip up. Yeah, Lubu already starting to bring it back again, but he has 83% on Tremendo, dude. He's gonna lose that stock. Okay. Interesting, kind of let a uh, Tremendo dude just kind of get back onto the stage for free. Uh, just jumping around this platform to give off some kind of threat, but really didn't put any fear into Tremendo dude. Yeah. I mean, he has such a big lead here, so yeah. what he's looking here for is a whip punish, but also approaching Joker with a back air because he knows how disjointed that is. Unfortunately, there for Lubu, uh, that out smash is not going to be the right call, and that forward smash will be the only thing he does take. I, dark, I can't respect the up smash, especially in the position that he did it at, because it, it probably would have caught like a roll. I've oh, seen, roll, yeah, I've roll seen, from I've edge. seen actually rolls get punished with the up smash quite often as of recently. Great stuff right there, stopping himself right there immediately as he lands on stage. Buster Art, and now we're seeing the reverse of what people would normally do. We're actually seeing Joker keep away from Buster Art yeah. rather than the vice versa. Tries to get a tech chase, but there, unfortunately, Lubu's gonna miss the option. 
Yeah, definitely the right call here for Lubu. A oh, beat, and he finishes it off. Deep, absolutely brilliant play. Tremendo dude taking that first game with a two star. Yeah, I am in, I'm jump. telling you, that's that's the one thing. I mean, hang out with Nico, seeing his show play for so long. But that's the one thing that I always love to see when uh, from last year, right? When we had Switch Fest last year, all those choke lanes that were able to make it out. This time, Kome makes it out himself as well, and Tremendo Dude and Uncivil Ninja are all the two other great choke mains that all, do have names to themselves, do demonstrate the knowledge, and do demonstrate the plays that they have what it takes to be up there as well. For shout sure. shout outs to, shout outs to those to those Discord leaders too, because they make sure that their community stays informed. Not only that, they kind of inform each other and also get to hang out with each other play, conversate. You know, if you want to become a better player, we talked about it on the podcast, right? It's having yeah. that sense of community within one another to help each other improve. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to get game number two here. Uh, okay, Lubu switching to the hero. I'm excited to see what, it, what his hero is about. This man mains DLC. My okay. man paid top dollar for a dice roll. Oh, yeah, absolutely, man. I mean... At the very least, win or lose, he's about to have some fun. Yeah, <laughs> the character is fun. The one thing that I do feel that hero does suffer is startup frames on yes. a lot of his aerials and jabs in general. Yeah, a lot of his normals are very slow, very strong as well, but he doesn't have too many just straight up combos. He has like mm. two hit conversions, uh, but it's it's really hard to find those sometimes. Um, Accelerado activated right here makes it, it's kind of like a combination between speed art and jump art, so it actually allows Hero to combo in ways that he wasn't able to Oof. prior. That's gonna take the KO, man. Kaboom, such a strong option. It flies across the stage at such a high velocity, and it has a vacuum hitbox that sucks you in, and it kills mad early, dude. I think that should be toned yeah. down, if you ask me. <laughs> Tone that down. All right, but Lubu already taking the advantage right here. 98% only on his first dog. Tremendo dude. Trying for that to make recovery. a change, he gets the gimp. Yeah. He's not gonna get back, man. That recovery actually kind of sucks. I mean, it goes so far, but you have to have mana, and it has no hitbox. Similar to how we were talking about Pit earlier, right? It has no hitbox, so really easy to punish as well. The one thing that I did like to see there coming out from Tremendo is he waited for him. Yeah. The looming threat of going for down air, going for upbeat, catching that jump recovery, that's kind of what stopped Lubu from going that normal recovery. Instead, he had to go extra low, and unfortunately, he didn't have that range from the upbeat. Tremendo Dude now switching up a little bit more to his side of the paradigm. Buster Art in play. Yeah, on the other side of things, we had Accelerado. Uh, he hasn't really been able to make much use of Accelerado, except for the fact that he, he's been just avoiding uh, Tremendo Dude, yeah. disengaging, which is totally fair as well. It's good, too, to be able to understand, yeah. like, okay, this is how... Oh, oh God, dude, Hachi Man was it. out there. He went for it. Yeah, he did. All right, we're back into the neutral here. He's going to use Sizzle, activating nice. the command menu once again, running up, getting a grab and using the forward throw to give himself some more time to pull up that menu. Oh, there's that level two side special, Kazap, uh, right? Kazap. Mm -hmm. Zap, Kazap, Kazapple? Got to learn that today, man. It's like Zap, yeah. Zapple, and then Kazap, and then oh, okay. Siz, zap, Sizzle, zapple. and then Kaziz. Yes. Frizz. Frizz, Frizzle, Kazizzle. Yeah. Hero, man. All right, but Lubu down to his last stock right here. Uh, not going to count him out, of course. Oh. With Hero having the command menu, there's a lot of things that can happen. He had ooh, and I'm surprised to see that fireball actually didn't send Tremendo Dude flying very far at all. Did he have Shield Monado already I, activated? No, he actually landed with Shield Monado art. Oh, okay. That was I, the one thing I do see Tremendo Dude going ahead and kind of play against Hero. There it is. That's going to take the uh, KO. He got caught in the run back animation, yeah. but I'm, I'm, what I was trying to say earlier is that he's trying to make sure he's a little bit spaced, so he's not that close range to all of the other uh, options that Hero does have. Nice trying to call out the arrow, but unfortunately gets caught by one of those arrows. Black, Ooh. that's going to be early percent, but we know that's a 0.3% chance of actually taking the stock yeah, either of course, way. The higher your opponent's percent is at, the higher uh, percent chance that that will get a, a critical hit, or excuse me, a hit, one hit KO. Yeah. Oh my god. Crackle slash. He was actually so lucky that he didn't get a critical hit uh, on that up smash. That up oh, smash I KO love that. Hit. Even waited for the directional air dodge. What a great adaptation because he knows how he wants to land. Okay, he's only got 30 mana here. It's Slowly climbing back up. He's gonna get this grab. He's charging up that ad smash with a ballsy move. Barely avoids this edge guard. Nice. He's using speed art because it does shorten the jump range and the height of your jump. Using jump art to actually come back on the stage and over the Sizz. 
We're seeing Lubu make some uh, nice walks in with shield and shield dart. Hey, man, Tremendo dude showing what's up, right? Just shield. That's, exactly. all, that's all you got to do. Hold shield a little bit longer. And even then, you do have to wait for Hero to move out of that animation. Yeah, he actually dipped a little bit low because he saw oh. Bang. Great stage tech. And he's able to make it with the second hit of Air Slash. And he watched out for that flame frame slash. Great stuff from Tremendo dude, waiting for the option to run out. Absolutely. Okay, we're down to the wire right here for game number two. Let's see if Lu Bu can bring it to a game three. I like he that. He pulls up the menu and Tremendo Wait for Dude it. just attacking right away. Barely making it back. Here comes the menu. Yeah. He Add walks man. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, back throw? No, he's oh, good. He's good. Perfect. He's good. This is perfect for him right here. He gets the side Watch up. out those psych up. Up throw is going to take a KO right up here. Up air. Oh. Miss the opportunity. Oh, and the grab cancels. Just barely. If he gets this grab, he's going to get KO'd. Maybe good shield art. Good shield art. Yeah. yeah. Great stuff to switch it up around. Tremendo dude oh. with a great back air landing, and he finishes it off against Lubu. Woo, you can Woo. tell Tremendo dude was sweating on that one for sure. He thought he, thought he was going to game three. <laughs> he did, he did. No, but that's what I talked about, right? We did see Tremendo do slowly kind of, you said it yourself, yeah. walk in with shield. Yes. That's all you have to do. Yeah. Shield a little bit longer. And then he had shield art, which not only gets, grants you more shield health, but yeah. actual weight. You become the heaviest character in the game. So that's actually a really important note, right? Walk with shield. Because a lot of times it, it people, you know, kind of meme on the just shield thing because you're running at hero, right? You're mm -hmm. like, oh my god, he pulled his menu up. Like, are you running out hero? Sometimes they just YOLO, they just YOLO roll yeah. down B and they hit the first one and you get thwacked. Yeah. And obviously you can't. Like, and you're running. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're running. running.